Good afternoon, say to you. You're watching Kalkine TV live from Sydney, and this is the Stocks in Action show. We'll be looking at the financial year results and their latest updates. And lastly, we'll take a quick glance at the developments across the ASX 200. So stay tuned. Firstly, the shares of the Australian conglomerate West Farmers were down on Friday after the company shared its financial highlights for the year ending. 30th June. The company has reported a statutory net profit after tax of 2.38 billion Australian dollars for the time period and its net profit after tax from continuing operations, excluding significant items, increased 16.2% to 2.42 billion Australian dollars. And the group recorded a solid operating cash flow result for the year. Operating cash flows were 25.6% lower than last year. West Farmers also maintained flexibility in the balance sheet during the period to help ongoing investment as well as addressing the current uncertainty. And the group recorded a net cash position of 109 million Australian dollars at the end of the year. And moving on to the next news that covers clean space, a manufacturer of respiratory equipment for the healthcare and industrial employees. Clean Space Holdings shares were trading down on Friday as the company shared its financial year 2021 results. In the financial year 2020, CSX saw a 75.8% growth in revenue with a gross margin growth of 77%. The company's profit for the year grew 92.3%. It now has a strong cash position and links with new distribution partners and has expanded geographically as well. In addition, higher vaccination rates are enabling markets to reopen, which is shifting the market dynamics favourably for clean space. And CSX has seen a transformational year for its healthcare business. It has widened its customer base with an addition of 850 clients. In addition, CSX has expanded sales capability and opened a manufacturing facility in Sydney with a capacity of over 100 million Australian dollars of revenue. And the next news catching the eyes of the investors is Linus Rare Earths, an integrated source of rare earths from mine to customer. Shares of Linus Rare Earths were trading up on Friday after the company released its financial report for the year ending 30th June 2021. And the company has registered a net profit of 157.1 million Australian dollars as compared with last financial year's 2020's 19.4 million Australian dollars. And in line with Linus's 2025 growth plans for downstream processing closer to its customers, planning continues for the proposed US Rare Earths separation facility. Linus signed contracts for two separate funding grants from the US government during the year, one for phase one work for a US-based heavy rare earths separation facility and another for the development of a commercial light rare earth separation plant in the US. Also making the news bigger cheese, Shares of the dairy giant Bigger Cheese were trading up on Friday as the company shared its financial year 2021 results ending 30th June 2021. The company completed a transformational acquisition in this period, which in turn expanded its branded foods portfolio and increased the company's exposure. And Bigger Cheese generated a normalised earnings before interest 38% higher than the prior year and sales revenue of 2.07 billion Australian dollars. The 528 million Australian dollar acquisition of Lion Dairy and Drinks, mostly funded by 393 million Australian dollars net capital raise, saw bigger cheese more than double its size. The revenue reached 3 billion Australian dollars and employee numbers touched more than 4,000. The expansion of its cold chain distribution network made one of the largest in the country and significantly increased its proportion of sales from branded products from 59% to more than 80%. Bigger Cheese also announced a final fully franked dividend of $0.05 cents per share for the financial year 2021. This takes a total dividend for the year to $0.10 cents per share. And now the last news to be discussed in this session covers Taz Foods. And shares of a Tasmanian-focused premium foods business, Taz Foods, are trading up on Friday after the company released its financial results for the half year ended 30th June 2021. TFL has seen a sales revenue growth of 5% compared to the first half of 2021. It managed to achieve revenue growth despite a pantry stocking tailwind. And the gross margins also improved and were at 27% compared to 23% in the first half of 2020. It has completed brand development work 
and go to market plans to launch its Isle and Sky organic range and an organic chicken product range in September 2021. It will make this range available in premium coal stores in New South Wales and Victoria and it's now focusing on product development for its launch of better milk, lactose free range and new ready to cook meals. And before wrapping up the show, let's quickly glimpse through the developments across the equity and commodity markets. Firstly, we'll start with the ASX 200's performance. And the S&P ASX 200 is lower today, dropping 19.50 points or 0.26 per cent to 7,471.70 and crossing below its 20-day moving average. Pilbara Minerals is down 5.19 per cent, while Next DC was down as well, 3.78 per cent. Out of the sectors across the ASX, eight out of the 11 sectors are lower today, along with the S&P ASX 200's index. And the healthcare is the best performing sector, while consumer discretionary is today's worst performing sector. And that was current at 10.46 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. And thank you for joining us for that report. That's all we have time for at the moment, but do stay tuned with Calkine TV for more live market updates. We'll be back with more in the news and the markets, the economies and diverse themes and sectors. Sage signing off.